everyone. I'm Lenise Lagan with your Fox News Now update. Nearly $490,000 stolen during a Brinks truck arm robbery that police are calling an inside job. The driver, Jonah Bassard, his girlfriend, Sierra Overton, and Bassard's brother, Isaiah Campbell, accused of conspiring together to steal that cash. Brand new court documents revealing Bassard unlocked the truck before his brother and girlfriend arrived. Uh, they left the security door inside the trunk open and place the money just inside the doorway. During the robbery, Bassard fired around from his Brinks issue pistol, but didn't appear to be aiming at anything or anyone in particular. Apparently, Campbell and Bassard were roommates at the time of the crime. Now, all of them were in court today due to be in court, uh, but instead the judge rescheduled that preliminary hearing for tomorrow. New at four, a case of an ex Pritchard police officer accused of murder now on its way to a grand jury. You guys want to say anything? No comment. That is former officer Jonathan Murray Murphy, that is leaving the courtroom accused of killing his neighbor Larry Taylor. The two lived at Avalon Plaza apartments, one above the other, where Murphy was also the courtesy officer. Mobile police called out on December 21st after a number of people called 911. Uh, they told investigators the two got into an argument. It got physical with Murphy headbutting Taylor at one point, which explains the bandage in his mugshot. A court record show the two had an ongoing feud over loud music, among other things. According to testimony, minutes before Taylor was shot and killed in his doorway, Murphy also called 911 requesting Mobile Police respond, claiming Taylor was harassing him. The judge in the case sending it to a grand jury. According to yesterday's testimony, there was an autopsy and toxicology test performed on Taylor, but those results are not yet completed. Incidentally, back in 2017, while on duty with Pritchard Police, Murphy shot and killed a man during a traffic stop. No charges were filed in that case. Daphne police on the lookout for two women. They say definitely has a lot of baggage. Uh, they're accused of stealing luggage, a card, in fact, from a local hotel. It all happened on New Year's Eve. You're looking at a picture of the card, similar as what you saw in the surveillance pictures of the women and a truck. Investigators say the women used to haul off the cart. Take a look at the women now on your screen. If you recognize them, call Daphne police. 251-620-0150. Concern with... leads to some students being sent home from school today. Bunn High School and Indian Spring Elementary students had to leave their class because of low pressure. A low pressure means that the children could now wash their hands or flush the toilet at the two schools. Parents were notified of the hazard and children were either picked up or taken home on the bus. At last check, Pritchard Water was working to get that issue fixed. Uh, the school system says it will determine whether students can return to those schools tomorrow and they'll notify parents when that decision is made. All right, the Mobile County Health Department releasing new details about its first come first serve vaccine event that is this Saturday. We're told it's going to be at the Mobile Cruise Terminal on South Water Street. Right now, only people eligible to get the vaccine are welcome. So we're talking people 75 years of age or older, healthcare workers and first responders. The times for each group to arrive at the terminal on your screen. No appointments will be taken and you do need to have your identification and mask with you. A plan accordingly. Wait times they say will be long. All right, here's what we're tracking across the Gulf Coast this afternoon. Starting to see better weather, best weather we've seen in about five or six days with the sun out fully over most of the area as of this afternoon. And we have temperatures that are soaring into the middle and upper 50s. It's been a while since we've been able to celebrate temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. But looking at our evening temperatures, we will see a drop again this evening. So if you are headed out for anything this evening, especially late this evening, it could be in the 30s by 8 o'clock in the inland areas. Futurecast 
modeling looks quiet. No sign of any rain or trouble in the short term forecast. We may get a few clouds in here on Thursday night along with a couple of isolated showers. Here's your seven day forecast and a uh, little rain Thursday night. If we get it, shouldn't amount to much and then back to sunshine on Friday, sunshine Saturday and Sunday here and it looks good all the way through MLK Monday. Then next week, Tuesday, Wednesday starts to get a little unsettled. So we've got some great weather for about the next four or five days. The nights stay chilly, but the days are looking fantastic. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10.